Oh boy, this is gonna be good, y'all. The beautiful first lady is on the fire. Oh, Melania is on the fire. Not the fire, the fire. And good, and there's no Jessica Tarnoff. Amen. <laughs> but amen, let's go get into this, y'all. A lot of y'all been telling me to check this out, react to it. Um, I hope everybody is blessed, man. That 2024 is treating all you beautiful people well, man. My brothers and sisters, one love to the human race. As we go through this corrupt scam of a matrix together, man. In these dark, disgraceful times, they always tell us to stay woke. Stay woke. Look what woke has gotten us, man. You know? And we are now witnessing the one of the worst tickets we probably might ever see in our lifetime. And people are still clapping for these puppets. You know? Incompetent. Failures. Liars. I just don't see it, man. But, uh... Let's go and jump into this, you guys. Melania Trump's on the five. And um, this is huge. So make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And we are wishing the best in everybody's life, man. Yes, indeed. As we go through this short, short, fast time travel together, man. It's a short, fast, very, very short, fast time travel. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So y'all do me a favor, man. Don't take time for granted. Give your loved ones a hug for me. Text them, call them. Thank you to everybody that's been checking up on me, asking me if I'm well, if I'm okay. And there's still some of y'all that I haven't even responded. I've seen the message and still haven't responded, responded, responded back to you yet. I apologize. I'm sorry. We've sent out a lot of hats and mega hats and shirts and gifts to you guys. We've done, a, we've done so much, man. You know, and we've been done us so much today. To these last like 72 hours over here has been crazy, man. You know, and we see everything going on with the hurricane victims. There's just a lot going on, y'all. You know, my prayers and loves goes out to the hurricane victims and um, people that are on the roads right now traveling. It's just crazy right now, man. You know, and we are literally 28 days out. Whew. 28 days, man. And it has to be too big to rig. Yes, indeed. Too big to rig. But let's go and check out Melania on the five. Conquering the world of high fashion to meeting the man who would change the course of her life. Melania Trump offering a rare glimpse as first lady and much more. It's all in her brand new self-titled memoir called Melania, which you can get a copy of at MelaniaTrump.com. And Melania Trump joins us now to talk mm -hmm. about it. I read this entire thing cover to cover last night and you tell the people about riding in the limousine with Michelle Obama on inauguration day you talk about oh, wow. some of your battles with the press what was something you put in this book that you've been wanting to get off your chest <laughs> for all of these years that people really need to see well everything everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I think it's a lot of mis uh, information out there about me so that's why I said that I think it's the time that people hear from me and uh, my story, my perspective, and the truth. We're about the truth on this show. Judge Jeanine, do you have a question? You've been very excited about this interview today. <laughs> Look at Greg, and Greg's reading it. <laughs> they knew exactly not to have Jessica on this take. Thank you, Fox. Appreciate it. You did a, now clap it up. Clap it up. We cannot have Jessica nowhere near. Nowhere near on the premises. <laughs> I have so many questions, but I'll, I'll start with one that that is clearly serious. Uh, the, the former president has survived two assassination attempts, and Kamala's camp has just issued yesterday that they're going to go more negative. The Biden-Harris team continues with the negative rhetoric, uh, you know, with, whether it's Hitler or, you know, you know, he's tearing down democracy. Um, mm. Are you worried about your husband's safety in the next 29 days? Of course I do. Yes, I do. I think, you know, when they call him, he's a threat to democracy. Uh, let's ask ourselves, who is really a threat to democracy? Uh, they are ongoing with the lawfare against the, the former president, um, as well as, you know, trying to get him off the vo voting ballots and trying to, um, you know, silence him. So, yes, of course, um, I was always uh, afraid what can happen and uh, that they continuing with that kind of language is just they talk. It's a toxic, toxic atmosphere. 
Jessica Tarlov. I mean, Harold Ford Jr., uh, <laughs> do you have a question for the summer? First of all, <laughs> I do, first of all, great to see you, and uh, we're so glad that you're here. Thank the, you. When you think about some of the, the positive things that, that, that you experienced in the White House when you and President Trump were there, what were some of the things that made you most joyful about policy and the things that he did? Well, he did a lot, and uh, he took care of the military, and I really loved visiting them, uh, actually all around the world, even when I went to um, uh, in Iraq for Christmas, yeah. when I went to Walter Reed and visiting the soldiers, wounded soldiers, and also when I visited the aircraft um, on the middle of the ocean. <laughs> so very exciting, and all the me people that I met uh, over four years, uh, really, really special. And they always, you know, they stay with you. S sometimes you still remember them. So uh, it's always something uh, that it's, I'm looking forward to it. When Dana went to Iraq, she had a black eye. <laughs> I'm very glad that didn't happen to you. I'm the only one who got hurt in that yeah, whole thing. Yeah. That's true, but I recovered. Um, in the book, you do talk about the power of the Office of the First Lady to do good. Mm -hmm. And I, know, I think from afar, what I witnessed was that you seemed very joyful when you were certainly around the military, but also when you were around children. And I remember early on, you went and you read to children and it was a special moment. And I'm wondering if, if President, former President Trump wins again. Um, I know that foster care is an issue that you care about and it's a system that is broken and there's a lot of organizations that help like Selfless Love out of Florida and Texas. They're amazing. But a, a push from the White House could really help. Is there an issue like that or anything else that you kind of wish that you had another chance to work on? Well, I will bring my uh, experiences back, uh, what I learned uh, the, in the four years. Um, and as well, I will continue my Be Best initiative You're right. uh, for children, for women. And also I will continue with fostering the future the initiative that I established after I left the White House mm -hmm. in 2021. And uh, I have uh, two platforms, uh, MelaniaTrump.com and USMemorabilia.com that support uh, scholarships for fostering uh, children and mm -hmm. fostering community. I have uh, many students now in. Mm -hmm. So I will continue with that. And uh, we need to give back to those children and support them. So once they have education, they could have a great job, and after that, they could give back to communities. Mm -hmm. Greg Gutfeld. Can, can, can two men have, have babies? I mean, no. Okay, that's what so I thought. You say it's so, a natural law that I yeah. don't have a choice on who I am. Yeah. It's natural law that I oh, I think I might keep that ad in there. <laughs> I love the cover. <laughs> Because it's black. It's black. Uh, like you, I was a model. And uh, <laughs> do you ever... Um, <laughs> there's some magazines you probably never heard of, but uh, <laughs> they're out of business now. Yeah. Do, you, do, do you ever stop and think about your life and wonder, how did you get here? Like, you came to the United States in 96. You arrived at JFK. Uh, and then you end up in the White House. <laughs> and... Did you, like, did you, ex I, obviously you didn't expect it, but do you ever, like, does it ever kind of dawn, have these moments where, how did I get here? Yeah, it, incredible <laughs> journey, a cre incredible yeah. story, uh, where I came from a small town in mm -hmm. Slovenia and then went to Milan, Paris, New York. And, you know, you never know what can happen in life, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know the future. We don't know what will happen next year. So, you know, would, here we are. Would you have married Donald Trump if you had a crystal ball that said he would be president? Huh, that's a interesting <laughs> <Yeah>. question. <laughs> By the way, does he ever sleep? Yes. Uh, he doesn't sleep much. He does, of course. Does he, he wear pajamas? To. No. Oh. No. <laughs> what does he wear when he sleeps, okay. Melania? <laughs> well, one of the things one of the things she does get into in the book, Greg, uh, since I've read it and you haven't, obviously, the first date. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how he courted you, and that courtship mm -hmm. was was very special. These are just many of the things you reveal in the book. One of those moments when Greg alluded to it. Where am I? How am I here? You were in the Situation Room mm -hmm. during the Al Baghdadi raid. Yeah. That must have been pretty intense. It was. It was. It was amazing uh, to experience that kind of um, 
action, really, and uh, soldiers, they were so brave and interesting. I didn't put in the book, actually, but it's uh, after uh, that, in a few months, I met those pilots in North Carolina that they flew over. So they explained to me what they need to do, what, how they need to prepare. They cannot tell anybody. They go and they're called to duty and right away they go on the flight and they tell them where he, they need to go. So very interesting story, yes, but I was there and uh, uh, my husband, he called me and he said like he wants that I see it and it was incredible what they did. Did you get to meet the dog too? Conan. I did. I you did. Conan. Yes. 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 And you were there too. To, <laughs> yes. you, you met Conan too. Yes. yes. It's on the back of one of my books. <laughs> <laughs> and you were so brave. You you yeah. went right there and to I him and them. she was start, you know, yeah. It's amazing. You were so brave with him. Yeah, I think the dog was scared of Janine. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Actually, it was Laura and I, we kept calling the president and said, please, can you bring Conan in? But, yeah, uh, yeah it was it was fun. Can I ask another question? Sure. Or, okay. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of women who are on the fence. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, a few. What would you say to them regarding why Donald Trump should be president? Well, we could see in the four years that he was there country was um, in great shape, country was safe, country was prosperous, and he will bring that back. Yeah. Mm. Yes. When you are hopefully first lady again, yes. will you continue with the Be Best initiative? I know that was near and dear to your heart in those four years. I will do that. And also, you know, we need to see what will happen in in few months and what next year will bring and new issues will come. Mm -hmm. Right. So you need to tackle those issues and you need to. Well, and uh, and yes. one of them is that what we have seen, uh, uh, there's an increase in crime against women. Mm -hmm. um, and that's been mm -hmm. happening in all of the stories that we talk about when they're when you have an illegal, illegal migrant crime. It, it's not just women, but there is a particular attack against women that's happening and i'm not necessarily asking that just came to me i didn't plan on asking you about that but it does seem to me like you don't know what the issues are going to be north carolina has to be rebuilt tennessee has to be rebuilt there's so many things that now are, are florida is coming right yes. the big hurricane yes. in florida I'm, yes. I'm glad that many people they they they're move leaving. they're leaving mm -hmm. they move away so they will be safe quick like question how's how's baron doing at nyu He's doing great. He loves his classes and his professors. He's doing well. He's thriving and he's uh, enjoying to be in New York City again. Correct. Is there, Melania, is there something you would want people to know about your husband that they probably don't know that they mm -hmm. should know? Yeah, great. Something Let's go. Be, oh, that's, you know. That's pretty good. Let's something well, I have some stories, and Jesse, you, <laughs> you read it in the book, so they're kind of, you know, cute, nice stories. And mm -hmm. he's very warm. He's fun. He has a great personality. Mm -hmm. And all he wants, he's very passionate about this country. All he wants, he wants to make this country safe uh, so everybody has a jobs and enjoying family life. And, you know, he's treating everybody equal. You know, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Man or woman, he could be tough on a woman. He yes. could be tough on a man. We experience <laughs> does that. Does he make you laugh? Does he closely. make you laugh? Yeah. Yes, he does. Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The key. He is. He is. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you very much, Melania, and congratulations. Good luck and with the book, thank Melania. You. There it is. Where books are sold, or you go to your website. What was the website again? Y'all can feel that, man. It's just different, man. You know, like I said, we, we react to MSNBCs, the CNNs, the fake news, the enemy of the people. You know, we react to all that crap, man. But the energy is just different over here, y'all. You know, all we've heard is threat to democracy, Hitler. The man just had, had attacks on his life. You know, you go on in the view, he's an existential threat. We must smash him like a bug. You know, it's sick, man. It is sick. And then they're not going to stop, man. And they're clapping on and trying to push this candidate who's had z z most unpopular, zero votes. They've allowed, the, we've allowed the, the media, the corrupt media has built this candidate. And anything Trump says, does, <laughs> they wipe him through the mud. You know? He went heads on with this, with, with everything that's going on with the, with the hurricane. You know, and FEMA and everything. He went heads on against it. 
called it for what it is. But all they, but the Biden administration, there's no money left. We're running out of money. Seven hundred and fifty dollars is all. And now people are denied. Can't even get that. It's crap, man. Incompetent. Border wide open. Inflation. The economy. I mean, it's just terrible. But I was a prosecutor. I grew up in the middle class. Completely different, man. I'm so glad that the five had Melania Trump on. The energy, the vibes, man. Everything was just completely different. Completely different, man. And they also asked some amazing questions. What do y'all think of that? Comment down below, man. Comment down below, man. These sides are completely different, man. And I hope everybody wakes up and sees what's actually going on, man. You know, and not believing that that fake news, you know. I, unbelievable. But make sure y'all hit that like button. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next, man. Share the video. And we're going to keep rocking and rolling, man. Boy, 28 days out, America.